Heyo everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am here with an extreme bathroom cleaning and organizing, a little bit of decluttering video for you guys. I am trying to get my house in order. I definitely want a fresh start as I go into this new year and I wanna take you guys along with me for each room. We're starting off with my bathroom. Let's go ahead and get into it. Shower this morning, got ready. Navy was in here, the baby was in here. So the bathroom is kind of a disaster, but I didn't wanna do like my daily kind of pickup of the bathroom because I knew I was going to be doing all of this. Also like food all over the floor because I put Amron in here to eat. <laughs> yeah, you made this mess, didn't you? I put Amron in here to eat while I showered. But what I'm going to do is take everything out of here, literally everything. And I'm going to deep clean the whole bathroom first. And then I will kind of work on trashing things that I don't need and then organizing. As you guys know, part of my like 1% better every day after I get ready each morning has been to kind of clean surface area of my bathroom. And for the most part, I have been doing that. I've missed a couple days due to other things, but I would say 90% of the time I've stayed true to cleaning surface area of my bathroom. The issue right now is what I don't ever clean or focus on is really the drawers. There's just stuff thrown in here. There's no type of rhyme or reason why stuff is in here. Navy goes through these drawers a lot. I gotta stop letting her come in here, go through things. I'm working on that. She comes in here to get ready with me. She also sneaks in here to steal stuff. Like I'm missing my snail mucin thing and I'll probably find that somewhere here eventually. I don't know where she took it. I'm totally not blaming all of this catastrophe on her. It's also me. I just kind of throw things in here. Everything that I use on a daily basis stays up here. I rarely go into my drawers unless it's to get stuff like this. Really need to go through the drawers. Obviously I need to sweep in here. This isn't too bad, but I wanna rework it a little bit. This cabinet is where I typically keep like the cleaning. I'm gonna take everything out, including everything in here. I did get some stuff from the Target dollar spot and I'm thinking I definitely should have gotten more. I'm gonna see if I can go back and pick some up, but I got some things from the Target dollar spot to organize the drawers. Yeah, I'm excited to kind of get this under control a little bit. The bathroom is due for a deep clean, like really getting in there and scrubbing. I do quick wipe downs every day. I need to clean the bath mats. I need to clean the towels. So let's get into it. touch we break make it seem like we feel the same we love what we had we lie but we know we can't wonder what doesn't grow give up let it go but we fell apart Drive from your place 
saw you from the distance Hey you, can we talk? Hey you, I think you're my subsistence down and clean ready to go i'm gonna start organizing this stuff now and then i'm gonna come in here and sweep and mop the floors oh and then i'm gonna do the mirror last here are some of the bins there's a couple more that i got from the target dollar spot i'm really kicking myself that i did not get more of these uh, some of them are like a little wonky but honestly they were a dollar We don't quite fill up the drawer and that does kind of bother me a little bit, but we'll see. I think what I want to put up here is like extras of what I'm going to have on top. Extra toothbrushes, extra toothpaste, skincare items. I think that's what's going to be here in this drawer. Actually, since Mimi comes in here to brush her teeth and stuff, I'm going to put her stuff in here. And Kale kind of took all his stuff back to his bathroom, but if he wants to bring it in here, I'll make a spot for him. PMD brush comes with its own case. So I'm thinking, do I put it in that? Or is that like too weird? Should I keep it separate? That's really all I need in this drawer. Anything that doesn't fit in my drawers or my cabinets, like with the organization that I'm planning on doing, then I'm going to be getting rid of it. I'm also trying to minimize 
thing. Second drawer, I'm gonna do like my face mask, eye mask, things like that. Kind of my paper drawer and then probably extra hand sanitizers. Although, maybe doing it this way. And then putting like the small ones in one of these. Actually, I'm kind of low on my Q-tip thing, so I'm going to refill this really quick. This goes on top. Okay. Now, I can just go this way. I'm gonna put my C-section scar mask in here. And then I think in another container, I'm gonna kind of put like my stretch mark creams and stuff, which I don't really use, but maybe now that it's organized and I know where it is, <laughs> I'll be more inclined to use that stuff. I think that's gonna be kind of that drawer right there. And actually, let me put my extra contacts in here. I definitely need to go to the eye doctor because I'm almost out of contacts. For the bottom drawer, I'm gonna put all my hair products. I had this in like a separate basket in my cabinet, but I think it makes more sense here in the drawer. And then I'll put our brushes, that's Navy's brush, but combs in this drawer. And it's a little too big, but it just keeps it kind of in a container. Actually, I do need more scrunchies. I'm gonna put my bobby pins, but I also need more scrunchies. I'll put that in here also when I get them. This is gonna go here, back where it was. I do need new toothbrushes. That black extra toothbrush is Kale's, it's not mine, but I desperately need some new toothbrushes. So I'm kind of making a note, cause I need to go to Target anyway. I got Target gift cards, but of stuff that I need. And I do have two more extra toothpaste, but I'm actually gonna put them in the cabinet here. I'm gonna put like my extra bath things in here. I've been keeping it like on my bathtub, but I'm a person, I really don't like a bunch of stuff on a countertop that can be seen. And I don't take baths every day. So I think I'm just gonna put that stuff here. When I get bath salts and stuff, I'll put them in there as well. I've been keeping this on the bath. This is all the things I use to bathe the baby, but I think I'm gonna put them in here as well. Put all the extra stuff in here. I'm thinking the two like acrylic pull out drawer things that I had, I'm actually gonna go put in the kids bathroom because they need some organizing stuff. To this top drawer, I'm gonna put my current deodorants that I'm using in here. This is the scent I'm using by Lumi right now. So I wanna put those up here since this is what I'm using every single day anyway. That way it's easier. Right now they were in my closet with like the rest of the hygiene stuff, but I think it makes more sense. I'm going to put all of our current vitamins back here. those in the back since I don't technically need these right now we'll put those in the back my vitamins up front I think I'm gonna keep actually <laughs> I'm gonna redo this I think I'm going to put my extra like hair care products in here and then I'll put the vitamins and stuff on one of the acrylic organizers that I have kids vitamins my vitamins saline solution back here put my aspirin and stuff back here most of our medicine is in a 
cabinet in the kitchen. So this is just kind of like my stuff that I had during my postpartum like recovery. That's not gonna fit, Latoya. It's not gonna stand up in there, obviously. Mm. I don't really need pain reliever and aspirin probably in here. So I'll put this in the cabinet in the kitchen. Coconut oil. Extra hair care items for wash day in here. In this extra spot, I'm actually gonna put the extra toilet paper. I obviously keep some above my toilet, but this is just the extra stuff. I think that's it. I'm kind of like looking through my, here, y'all wanna see what it looks like. <laughs> this is real life right now. So this is kind of everything that I threw out and I don't think there's anything extra that needs to go in there. I'm gonna put the cleaning supplies on the other side of the cabinet. And then the rest of it will probably be trash or it will go inside like a diaper bag or purse because it's stuff that I typically travel with and it's time to refill those things anyway. Now I'm gonna start with my tray of stuff that I do every day. So my snail mucin, my perfumes up here. This one's actually Kale's, but he comes in here to put it on anyway. So we just kept it in here. I think he liked having all the perfumes and whatnot together. Every day, makeup is concealer, mascara, and a gloss. That's pretty much all I wear. My lip scrub and lip balm will also go up here. I alternate between the lip balm and the lip gloss. So there's that. And last, perfume. I keep one of the perfumes I have in my car in case I forget to spray perfume, or if that's a scent that I want to use for the day, then that's the perfume I'll take in the car with me anyway, so I just keep it in there. I'm gonna put this down because that's just gonna fall over anyway. I do wanna put this up here because I wanna make sure that I'm using this every single day for my feet, especially during the colder months. And I forget about it sometimes when it's in my closet, like with the rest of my lotions and stuff. So I'm going to put that in here. And then in this cabinet, we're just gonna put the cleaning stuff. I don't know if y'all can hear, but Navy is clearly belching the song Let It Go right now. Okay, and that is it. I typically have a sponge in here, but I just use that sponge to clean everything. And the toilet was the last thing I cleaned, so I'm going to throw that sponge away. When I go to Target, I'll buy a new sponge and put them in here. Pretty much it for that cabinet. Okay, funny thing. I got, um, I don't know how to pronounce this brand, but... This is the concealer, and when I do wear foundation, this is the foundation I use. And it's kind of like a plan, subscription plan type. And you can change your products or whatever. It gets sent to me, like, I think I had it set to every three months on accident, and I forgot to change it to, like, every six months or whatever. Some Because I don't really wear it that much, so I didn't really need it often. And I got this forever ago. <laughs> And I hadn't opened it. It came with the stuff that I had gotten the first time, the poreless base, no filter primer, the foundation, and the concealer. But this time it actually came with the liner. I think because the last box came with like a foundation brush. So I think it gives you something extra like each thing. I didn't even know this was in here. So I'm actually gonna try that out. <laughs> just to see if i can is it like a pencil or oh snap okay well i might give eyeliner a try someday soon this has been in here a while so hopefully it's not dried up but yeah i'm gonna put this at the bottom of the acrylic thing because i just found the box but I still haven't finished the foundation or the concealer that I got for my first box and I hardly ever wear the primer in fact I always forget about it so I need to take that off my like next thing because I don't use it 
but we'll put it down here since this is stuff I don't really use much, but we'll put this in the back. That way I can see this. Oh, and this is an extra little sticky for my razor to stick to the base on the wall. So I put that there. But if this is in the front, maybe I'll see it when I go down here and that way I can remember to try and use it. That's going to bother me. Let's fix that. Okay. I'm going to put everything back on the shower and the bathtub and then it's going to be time to clean the floor and we're going to be done in here. completely done with the bathroom it took me hours but oh she feels like a breath of fresh air everything is scrubbed down wiped down stuff is organized we have our cleaning cabinet here with all the cleaning supplies and then here are my drawers the deodorant i use every day extra toothbrushes and toothpaste extra skincare items like self-care drawer the hair drawer and then this cabinet right here which I didn't film this part but in the back there I put kind of like all my travel stuff it's already in kind of the bag so if I ever need to go anywhere it's already in there and then extra pads are back there I still haven't started my period since being pregnant forever ago and Emran's almost eight months now, but I bought a bunch of tampons and pads a few months ago because I was cramping and I thought I was gonna start, but I haven't started at all. So that's just extra stuff. Most of it's in the kind of toilet room area. Nothing going on in here except for the toilet. Like I said, extra toilet paper, pads, tampons, and then my toilet spray. The shower is kind of all organized. Navy's been taking showers with me, so her shampoo and conditioner is up there as well. And then my current like bathing products and scrubbing products. The bathtub, I took the baby bathtub out because Imran no longer uses that. She just sits in the tub as it is and she likes to kind of swim around in there. She loves not being confined to the little baby tub. But the toys, I will actually keep down here on the ground but i wanted to get the mopping and stuff done i will put my bath pillow back but i'm gonna clean it because it had kind of like a yellowish tint onto it from all the like bath salts and things that i put in there currently in the dryer so once they are done i will put new towels in here 
and I will put the bath mats back as well. Yeah, she's done. Literally took me all day, but worth it. Hope you all kind of enjoy this declutter, deep clean and organized video of my master bathroom with me. Tomorrow I will be working on my bedroom. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.